Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. We are in the single player world, and we have wonderful shaders on, so the world looks a little bit better. Hopefully things still run well. I think they should. Um, there might be a little bit of, like, uh, lags and stuff. I think I still need to optimize uh, how much RAM I have allocated. I feel like, um, especially with the shaders added now, it's uh, it's not the right level. At the, moment I've, <laughs> at the moment, I've got quite a lot. I've got, I think, I've either got 10 gigabytes allocated or 8. And I don't know if I should go lower or higher, so we're, we're experimenting as we go. Um, so I believe last episode we set up this stuff. Um, we might have done the conveyors as well, I'm not too sure. But basically what this does, just a little recap, is it turns oak wood from our farm over there into charcoal. The charcoal gets turned into torches, right? And the torches get turned into coal from this. It, it splits them apart, right? And the cool thing here is this actually gives us the sticks back. So once we filled this up with sticks, we don't need to put any more in. It, it, it's, it completes the cycle. It's endless sticks coming back and forth. Uh, so all we need to do is input the charcoal because the coal is actually going into these guys. Which goes to the part two, which is we should have a bunch of coke brick. Um, I don't exactly know what it's called. I think it's just called coke brick. Hmm, why is it only saying that we have eight? <laughs> Did I already build? Is this all we had? There's no way. Right? Coke brick. That's the right stuff, right? Coke oven. Coke. No, it only showed coke. Hmm, okay. Oh, you know what happened? I think we made the bricks. Yeah, yeah, we have a thousand bricks, and we use that to make the coke oven bricks. So if I press, um... Oh, no, apparently I have to look over here. Uh, where is it? Coke brick? Yeah, here we go. So now I should be able to craft a bunch of this, which quite clearly I can. We also got a snowball when we logged in, which might be to do with Christmas? Have a happy winter, have some snow. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's fine. Um, we're also meant to be able to craft, uh, holiday pets. Apparently that's the thing. I'm not sure if I should do that before the event ends. If I search holiday pet. Um... We can craft, I guess, a Christmas pet. Christmas pet. Can we craft on it? Okay. Um, I might fly over here and do it, because I don't know what to expect. You've already received your gift today. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put some stuff away. Um, we got a gift. Uh, Right-click to open. Open immediately. Only valid from the 14th of December to the 25th. Okay. We got a helmet with unbreaking. Is that four? Uh, respiration three and aqua affinity. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know why. Um, what's the recipe for this guy? Doesn't really seem to have a recipe. Is it used in something else? Um, not really. Okay. Well, I guess that's cool. <laughs> sure. Why not? Um, we can probably oh, get a little bit closer and chuck this way. Um, and we put the pet away. Why not put this stuff away too? Okay, so what I wanted to do is make a bunch of these, right? Uh, so I think our best bet for doing that is the building gadget. Um, do we want to have them like in a row like this, side by side? Or do we want them all to be just in one, on one side? And then we can maybe pull the outputs this way. Um, have we already got this set up to extract as well? Let's see. Um, no, the extract's not always active, so we can just set it up on another side. Uh, I don't really know. I honestly don't really know. I reckon... I reckon we just make this insane line of them. And we have a gap of what? A gap of one? Okay. So what we can do is we can go here. We can go one, two, three. And we do that. Or... We could try out the copy-paste gadget, or the, yeah, the copy-paste gadget. So we want to get this guy, set him into copy mode, right-click here, shift right-click here, oh, right-click empty air to reset, and then right-click, shift right-click empty air? I don't know, we'll do clear, right-click there, shift click here, area copied. I think there's a little line that we might be able to see. I think it's copied, it just might be hard to see. So then let's do paste, and okay, um, let's do edit placement, let's do that changed, let's do, oh, 
Let's do that changed. And we'll do Y plus 1. There we go. And now, we can just slap these guys down like this. That's a little bit faster, right? A little bit of prep for a little bit of success. Um, we could also stack these, I think. Um, can we give that a try? Let's right-click this to make it a Coke oven. And then what if I put one on top? Can I right-click again? Ooh, there we go. That's the future. So right-click this back corner here to place it. And we'll stack these up. I'm not sure if the ones that aren't made will actually work. So hopefully they do. Um, either that or... Ooh. Oh, we're out of the, we're out of the stuff. Um, search Coke. Brick. Bam. Make a stack. Um, we'll destroy this. So that we can right-click again. And there we go. Alright. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so it does work. Oh, yep. Boom, 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 boom. How's that for a intimidating factory wall? And as you can see, these are the only ones that are uh, linked up because we need to finish linking all of these. Um, which <laughs> we might need more cables for, especially since we have two different lines. Okay, so is there an easier way to do this, do we think? What would be the easy way to do this? Does it exist? Hmm. Um. I don't. I don't think it matters. I reckon we'll just do this. We'll just line this up. We might have to make some more. It looks like we're gonna have to make some more. Yep. We'll make some more. Try and make a stack, maybe. Item conduits. Boom. Boom. Uh, apparently a stack. We're only gonna get eight. <laughs> so let's maybe craft a little bit more. Because I feel like we're gonna need probably even more than that. I say probably even more. I feel like we're definitely going to need more than that. Let's do this. Oh, we don't actually need these two. Um, and then what we want to do is this. I should also... Hmm. If I right-click this once, that makes it on insert mode. And that's what we want. So I want to right-click these twice. Right-click this once. Twice. Once. Oh, not be crouching. Which means turn the jetpack off. Right-click twice. Right-click once. Twice once. No, twice. <laughs> okay, you know what I might do? I might go through and do that. I'll do another layer up the top and then I'll be back because I feel like that'll be boring to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'll wire this up. I'll also do the um the fluid wires that we have down there, the fluid conduits, uh, which means I might have to make more. And I'll be back once all that's done. Okay, so these are all set up. I decided to set them up like this instead of a, a cross because I think it uses less, right? One, two, and then that bit. Whereas this would be one, two, three, then that bit. So it's a little bit closer. So we use less cables. And I think it looks better. Um, so here we go. This is the system they've all set up. I've configured the wires. And as you can see, are they all actually lit up? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so we're just waiting on these ones to tell if it's actually working entirely. Right? Uh, it should, though. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit scared. Let's make sure. Let's right-click here. Um, it's on insert. Perfect. Check this guy. He's on insert as well. Beautiful. These should all be working. I think we're just waiting on uh, this guy to catch up. As you can see, he's mowing through it. This guy's keeping up perfectly. Uh, has this guy got all the speed upgrades? Yep, 8 out of 8. Only 1 out of 8 on the energy. Um, so we could possibly get some more energy upgrades. I think he's fine though. I don't think we have to worry. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Um, now the only issue is getting the stuff out of here. Um, oh, I know what we're going to do. We're meant to set up a hemp farm. Um, an industrial hemp farm. And we have a lot of dirt over here, so I think we might as well. Um, we might be able to make another Steve's Carts to do this as well. Which, it's not necessary, but it might be fun. It might be a, a fun thing to do. Or we can just set up a normal farm. Um, so first thing first, hemp. Industrial hemp seed from immersive engineering. We need some of these, and we need a farm. Um... We don't have a farmer built. We could make a farmer. Peat farmer from Cyclic. Hmm. I don't know what a peat farmer does on Cyclic. Um, so, and actually additions farmer. What about a Cyclic farmer? At Cyclic, is it a harvester? Yeah. Have we tried one of these out? I know we've tried it out on, um, what do you call it? Uh, Sky Factory, but I don't think we've tried it here. Also, ooh, we're standing a bit too close. This guy cannot keep up. Um, he's actually doing a pretty good job. He's chopping all the leaves down. How fast does he chop wood? 
That's pretty fast. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, alright, so... Farmer. Um, do I place it this way? I do. Okay. I assume we're going to want it to be, like, connected over here. So, I might actually carve out the same, uh, sort of structure we have over there. You know how we have, like, a little bit of a window. I'll put this window here. We can place the farmer there. And we can actually see where he will, uh, be farming. Ooh. Maybe we can't, because we have the shaders on. Is there a way to possibly see it? No. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That shadow you see is the range. Um... How to get the shadow to appear all the time? Not sure. Not sure if it's even possible. But anyway, let, let, let me show you guys. Um, that shadow there. So, oh, see that? Those those blocks. If it okay, it seems to be almost impossible to uh to see it all. It seems if we look in this particular direction, you can see it. Um, it looks a bit big though. Let's make it. I mean, a nine by nine seems ideal, right? Um, I'm trying to see. Yeah. So the nine by nine, if you have a look, it goes up to here. And that's, that's next to the farm, uh, next to the tree. So I think that's a good spot. Um, so, first things first. One, two, three, four. Right here is where our water's going to go. So let's go ahead and get a bit of water. Boom, boom, boom. Do that. Oh, look at that water. That is beautiful. Um, next thing we need is... We can probably hook up the power, right? Get him started. Get him cooking. Uh, let me just put it there. So there we go. Um, you can have it so that it harvests the whole area once, or each single bit. Um, we can do the whole area. We have plenty of, uh, electricity. It's not really a bother. Let's hide the render as well, just so it, you know, it doesn't cause any issues. Um, and now, do we just chuck the seeds in? Let's see. Let's see what happens when this, uh, countdown gets to the end. So it's about to happen? What happens? Anything? No, it looks like nothing happened. Okay, um, maybe we have to till the ground, in which case, we have a garden site. We also have this uh, improved hoe, but I'm not sure how it works. Let's try this. Okay, I right-click the ground. Um, it used up durability, but it didn't really do anything, unless I'm, unless I'm having some visual bugs. Uh, let's try this one, maybe. Okay, so this guy works, but this guy just doesn't. Harvest and replant. Oh, okay. So he doesn't actually till the ground. He just harvests. Okay. Um, does that do too far? That does do too far. I suppose I could, like, just jump up. We jump a bit too high. Boom. And boom. So ideally what I need to do is, like, um, hit this bit. No. I need to hit, like, this bit. Right? Almost. I feel like this is the long way to do it the fast way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm using this hoe to try and make it faster, but I'm actually inadvertently taking way longer. It also doesn't look like he's planting, does it? Um, so maybe I have to plant as well with this guy? That doesn't seem too good. Let's put this stuff away. I'm not a not too big of a fan of them now. Um, let's see if we can just get a just a normal hoe. Um, here, we'll just grab the diamond one. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Um, is that everything, or do we need to go out over here? One more in the corner. Okay, perfect. Oh, wait. No, wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Phew. Put this away. Um, so yeah, he doesn't seem to be planting. Um, so what if I place these? Maybe I'll just place it myself. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, it does look like we can put these in crop sticks, like with most other plants. I think it should be fine, like this, though. Oh, it's raining. That's usually not a good sign. But, oh, look at the world when it rains. A beautiful thing about the shaders is, look, it actually adds, like, a, a water effect, as if there's actual water. Oh, look at that. You can see raindrops. That's cool. Um, and also, another cool thing is... Oh, actually, it seems to be very shiny in here. I was going to show off the fact that it, like, um, on bits that are sheltered... You can see, um, here, I might be able to do it over at this building. Oh, if we don't crash, we're struggling a bit loading these chunks. Let's, uh, open this up. Usually you can see that, like, it, um, yeah, see how it, like, cuts off? It goes in a little bit, there's a puddle, but there's not, like, a puddle on this part. So, like, the shelter part actually works. You can see it over here. See that shine from the reflection? 
I reckon that's really cool. Um, but we got to go into overworld and sleep because this dimension seems like it's dying at the moment. So, um, fingers crossed the world loads. Because traveling through dimensions with the shaders uh, has been an issue in the past. Um, purely because I think it's loading the whole world. Here we go. Go to sleep. Wake up. Rise and shine. Oh, look at that sun sunrise. That is beautiful. See, that's the one downside with um, having it always be midday here. Is when you have shaders, it's always midday. I wonder if we could change the time. So that it does just like full day cycles. But like no night time. Right? I feel like that might be possible. Um, so this guy, I mean it's growing. Okay, this one looks like it's grown. Okay, it, it, it's harvesting. It's actually doing it. Okay. Perfect. That's good enough for me. Uh, now the only problem is we need to grow more. <laughs> so let's pull out this guy. Um, do we have a flux pack on us? It does not seem like we do. Um, oh, is it in here maybe? Or have we put it in a machine? I think we've put it in a machine. Uh, let's search um flux. Yeah, we've put it in a machine. Okay. It's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, we're getting a lot of stuff though. Um, we definitely don't need to farm this big. Uh, or at least I don't think we do. Um, but we're gonna do it nonetheless. Try and grow as much as we can. The good thing is, once they grow to this stage, and then grow the next stage, when it gets harvested, it's already at that, like, the one stage before. You know what I mean? So it takes a long time to grow, uh, to be harvestable. But then once it's harvestable, it's, like, repeat harvestable. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Uh, so I'm just going to fill this area up. I don't, I don't feel like cutting. I mean, we're just filling up a little gap. The, the world's beautiful to look at. So uh, I don't feel too bad now. <laughs> spending time doing things like that. Um, obviously placing all those uh, cables was a bit tedious. So I didn't really want to have to mumble and talk while that happened. Um, we should have plenty. Boom, boom. Okay. Bam. Planting complete. We probably make this look a little bit nicer too, because it's a little bit, I don't know, not too nice. Um, now, <laughs> oh my god, um, I reckon what we can get away with is trashing, um, so let's get a trash can. Trash can. Uh, we'll get one of these trash cans, they look a little bit better. Um, what do we need? We need a cobblestone? We do what? Cobble? Where have I put our cobblestone that it's not connected to the system? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we won't do that then. Um, I'll have to fix the cobblestone issue later then, apparently. Um, let's get the trash void then, because it uses iron, and we have iron, but we don't have cobblestone. Great. Um, I'm going to place this here. What I'm going to do is another filter system. Um, we probably use an item extract. Item... I think I have some in my inventory, but it's fine. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to have them extract the hemp seeds. And void those. Um, so it's going to start voiding everything at the moment. But we're going to change it to whitelist. Do that. Um, and we should see all of that drain out. And all we have now is the hemp fiber. Which is perfect. Um, then we want to... Oh, um, eh, eh, I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of it. Um, what next? We need this to go into our system. So we just need it to um, wireless can wirelessly connect, right? You reckon that's fine? Is that a cheesy way to do it? Maybe. Um, let's do wireless. Uh, do this. Um, place this guy. Ooh, do, 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 do. Here. <laughs> uh, place this guy around back. Right click that. Right click this, they're connected, beautiful. Let's get an, one of the buses, import or export, don't really know. Import bus, fluid import bus, import import bus. We need a sticky piston. Let's make, oh, we don't have any pistons apparently. Um, so let's make a stack of these. Nope, we're missing the cobble. Oh my god, how do we not have cobble? We've definitely disconnected the uh, chest or something and somehow not noticed this entire time, which I think is unreal. Um, but I'll have to go look for that. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's the right cable. And apparently, I don't know, maybe we made two. <laughs> I'm very confused. Uh, let's place this. That should be good. Now, if we open up this guy, 
yeah, you can see it's uh, slowly but surely putting stuff into the system. We could grab acceleration cards. Slap them in there. Have it go a little bit faster. Yeah, it seems to be doing like stacks at a time. Perfect. Okay, now we have the hemp, which means we can do a few things. Uh, for one, we can put stuff on that. Um, let's search the hemp. Let's see what it's used in. Um, hemp oil, hempcrete, gunpowder barrel, string, or tough fabric, which is exactly what we want. Um, so let's make a stack of this, apparently. Um, what's this used in? Oh, um, oh. Let's search tough. Oh, tough fabric. What are you used in? Maintenance kit, insul oh, insulator cable, so we don't get zapped. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got to do that. Um, oh, yeah, the strip curtains is what we need, and the windmill uh, sails. So let's make windmill sails. Not sure how many we need, so let's just make uh, all of these into it, because we have plenty of hemp, so it's not really an issue. Uh, Ten is apparently the stack. Is that how many we have here? No, I think we have a little bit less. Um, how does this work? Oh, you just right-click on it? And it puts it on them. Oh, look at how fast that goes now. Oh, yeah. That generates electricity, let me tell you. That guy's going fast. Sweet. He looks pretty cool. Um, since we work over here, it probably would have been nice to have him face the other way. But eh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Uh, so, next. The other thing we wanted was the conveyors that extract. Um, so, if we search conveyor. Um, these guys, extracting convey belts, and they use strip curtains. That was, uh, why we need this, uh, fabric. So let's see if we can't make a few stacks of that. Dump that back into the system. Click this. Click strip curtain. We need aluminum, oh no, iron rods. Okay. Uh, 18. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 20. Wow. What are the, ch what are the chances of that? 20. Perfect. Um... That should be plenty again. So, ah, oh, we're gonna have 21 of these. Oh, so cool. All right, how many of these can we make? We need the missing bit, which is the uh, iron mechanical component. So we're gonna need a few more, but I'm pretty sure we make them like instantly, right? Iron plate, because it's a crafting recipe. Um, so they just craft super fast. Perfect. Um, conveyor. I wanna hopefully get this uh, done this episode. Would be nice. Um. We did 14, right? So I need 6, I think. Let's see. We've got 10. We need more treated wood, um, which we can make. <laughs> I don't think that's enough. Uh, it's almost enough. We need two more. Uh, and we're going to just buy the rest from the shop. Uh, slash pay me $1 to refresh my balance. There we go. Treated wood. Buy that. We only need two. So we'll do that. Extracting conveyor belts, check. Uh, conveyor belts themselves, we only have two, so we're gonna need quite a few more of these, to be honest. Let's make them out of rubber. Get a stack of them, perfect. Okay. So, I believe that we actually want it the other way around. Ah, uh, hmm, okay. How can we do this? Let's get the building gadget. I've got a little bit of an idea. Let's, um... Oh, actually, do we have cobble in here? We have a bit. Yeah, we have, we have a bit of cobble. Alright, I would like to change this build mode to build to me. And I want to do this. And then, can I do this? Oh, yes! Look at that! It works perfectly. It makes a bit of a mess, but it works. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. Okay, so that's that's just going to make some messes. Um, how's it still getting to me? Is my magnet on? My magnet must be on. Okay, we'll have to turn the magnet off later, but for now this is pretty good. Um, so we're going to do this. Ooh, I wonder. Do you think I can um, copy and paste this? Oh, I did not want to do that. Um, right? Because then that would save me doing the whole orientation stuff. Ooh, let's give this a shot. Uh, copy, paste. Gadget, put it back into copy mode, right click the air, clear everything, make sure it's cleared. Shift click there, um, right click there, so now it's got this area here, right? Um, actually, can I just right click this? Yeah, that works. Okay, 
And then I want to put this into paste mode. Um, how do I see if it's working? Because it's kind of like in the ground. Let's edit the placement and... Ooh, it's not looking too good, is it? Um, no, I don't... I don't think it copied uh, the, those blocks. See, if I do that, it doesn't... No. Oh. Oh. That was... You know what? It was worth a try, I think. I think it was worth a try, because if that worked, that would have been amazing. So, I guess I'll do this now. I'll do this part off camera. I'll go and connect all these, and then on camera, we might try and set up an actual conveyor belt system. So, I'll be back once this is all connected. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, so, these are all emptying, so make sure we pick up everything. So here we go. This is all looking perfect. This stuff has stuff in it. Everything's connected. All we need to do now is... Oh, we're actually full of uh, the cold coke. Yeah. Um, we just need to break all this stuff. Now, what should happen is the cold coke now should roll and fall onto the ground, right? And then all we want to do is place our conveyors like this. And then once this is all connected, I can turn off my magnet. And we should be golden. Boom, boom, boom. I think what we can do as well is set up another chest with a extra with an extracting conveyor on it, just in case I walk past here with um uh with like my magnet on, right? There you go. All the coal coke should be dropping and picking up and all that fun stuff. Um, let's put all this away, just in our system for now. Okay, conveyors. Boom, 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 boom. Um, bam, 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 bam. Now, I don't know if I can use a building gadget on this. I'm not even going to try. Um, I assume not, because it wouldn't work on the extracting ones. Um. Oh, yeah, it binds it to the inventory. That's not really an inventory, but I guess it, it counts as one, clearly. Uh, so let's do this. Oh, you're not meant to go there. So this is the terminal what part of the block you place it on, right? So you want to make sure you're placing it on this part. Um, normally there's arrows to show you, but because I have shaders on, you can't actually see it. Uh, so then we want it to go here. Uh, I guess, you know what? We can make it look a little bit nicer. Um, sometimes the magnet doesn't actually pick up what's on the conveyor belts, as you saw there. Uh, but sometimes it does, so just be weary. Go here, here, here. Um, I think I want it here. Do I? Is that where I want it? I think so. What we can also do is go coke coal. Um, we have blocks of coke coal apparently as well. Let's grab all this. Well, I guess I can make them all into blocks for this specific example. Oh, make these all into blocks. Look at how many blocks we have. Um, let's also very quickly, if we can, turn off the magnet. There we go. Right, magnet off, which means these are rolling in. It's working fine. We can chuck this in as well. They're going to get crushed. They're going to roll up here. Go across here. I want to make the um this stuff look a bit better in the future, but for now, I think we can get away with just making it look a little bit nicer. You know what I mean? Um, so we can probably do that too. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Like that. So there we go. This stuff rolls across. Goes inside to this guy. Then this guy, once he has eight, I believe it is, he will process. And the finished result will go up and into the hopper and craft it into a graphite ingot. And then the graphite ingot, um, let's search graphite. Oh, wait, he turns into this, right? So we need him to go through a metal press with a metal press mold rod on it. Um, so we'll have to do that in another episode too, probably, because this one's gotten quite, quite a bit long. Um, but we're pretty much there. Um, we can actually manually, um, if we run over to, oh, if I turn my jetpack off, we can manually craft one. Uh, I should also insulate this stuff now that we have the technology. We can make some of these graphite electrodes, fly up here, and put them in. Now, I do want to test uh, if any of these inputs can automatically put in the graphite stuff, because they have integrity and, and whatnot. Um, and what can this guy actually do? He can make, like, uh, steel and stuff, right? So if I grab uh, iron, if I grab a stack of iron, 
and I grab coal. If I ask for a stack of this, hopefully this doesn't take too long. I want to see how long it takes to make. Uh, so we'll see if this is craftable in this lifetime. We'd also chuck the coal in the, uh, the crusher, right? And that would work. But this get, look at how fast this is. Beautiful. Give it a second. 50, 54, 58, 62, 64. Perfect. Okay. Let's see just how fast this guy goes. So far, so good. It's not doing anything. Um, he's powered on. He has graphite electrodes. Distribute art inputs. Wow. Show recipes. Um, I'm pretty sure it does steel. So I do want to look through. But I guess it's possible it doesn't do steel. It should be just iron and... Uh, pulverized coal, I thought. Yeah, iron... Coke dust does steel. Ooh, okay. It's a different recipe for this mod pack. Okay. Um, what we could do, though, is we could do pulverized coal and silicon for electric steel. So let's do that. Let's grab our silicon, since we have quite a bit of that, too. Um, did I grab that? Oh, yep. I think it just dropped. There we go. Open this guy. Um, okay, so yeah, he goes in here. So let's do this. And let's see just how quick this, this takes. So they heat up on the side like a... Um, Smeltery, right? Oh, and it has a cool animation. Okay. So you can see little part uh, particles flying out of there as they heat up. Um, obviously, that lit up too. Does it do any... Oh, look at that! That is very cool. Oh, I'm a big fan of this. This mod pack's so cool. And look at this. It's almost running, like, uh, non-stop. Well, I, guess it's, I guess it's not, but, you know... It should be. <laughs> uh, so what's the issue now? I think it's just waiting on time because these, these take a long time to cook. Um, what we could do as well is we could possibly set up a splitter. Let's search um, conveyor. Do they do splitters? Splitter. Here we go. Get one of these and get a hopper. And get... Doo -doo -doo, uh, search conveyor. Get another one of these. And here, let's... Break this here. Let's do a splitting conveyor. Have oop, have these conveyors go like so. It looks very ugly, um, but you know it does the thing. Uh, have this one go here, and this one will go up and into this. So I think I want to have a chest, which we can grab a chest like so. We're almost wrapping up. Place this here. Place a hopper on top. Uh, you know what? No. We're actually going to put that in the ground. So, break this. Break this. Break this. Chest. Hopper. Because we only have one of these uh, vertical conveyors. That's what I was thinking. And that should work. Perfect. So, that will give us a supply of coal coke. Uh, as well as, you know, turning the dust into uh, graphite ingots. Sweet. I'm a, I'm a fan. And what we can do as well, if we want the... Uh, the creosote oil, which I think we actually do. We can turn this into a tank of some sort. So let's, uh, maybe we'll make an ender tank just real quick. Uh, ender tank. Uh, we're gonna have to make a completely different one, like a different, uh, color. Let's make a stack of cauldrons. Let's search wool. What type of wool can we make? Can we make an orange wool? Can we make a magenta? Can we make a blue? There we go. Uh, let's search ender tank. Craft one of these, replace the blue with light blue, and there you go. Let's replace this guy with this. He's on insert. We should be getting creosote oil. Yep, it looks disgusting, but it's working. Um, so that's instead of voiding it, we're actually getting the creosote oil out. And we can use that to automate the treated wood. And yeah, I, I'm i a big fan of this uh, mod, specifically for this. Like, look at how cool this is. We can have an actual like factory where parts are moving, Conveyors are moving, there's items, and, and that looks pretty cool. I also like uh, it combined with, like, Steve's carts, because, once again, you get the actual movement, right? Like, these machines over here, they're cool, but they're also kind of not, right? Th this is sort of just, like, if you want to play, I don't know, hardcore and not have stuff look cool. Um, so what I might do is I might replace this in a future episode with the Steve Carts uh, miner. Or farmer, sorry, not miner. Um, so we'll have that run around and do a nice little farm. 
and that should be pretty cool. So yeah, I think we'll wrap it up here. I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. Um, I'm quite happy that we get to look at it in Shaders too. I might look into having it so that we can have, you know, a, a day cycle. We could even go day-night and set up some turrets if that's possible, but I kind of don't want to. Um, yeah, I just kind of don't want to. It's, it's a lot of effort having to fend off our enemies and sleep and whatnot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. There's plenty more content related to modern Minecraft uh, coming at you in the future uh, from both this mod pack from Sky Factory 4 and from checking out the server bases and obviously some tutorials here and there. Look at that. Look at this factory. We might we might expand this too. It might be cool to have like a, a 10 by 10. That would be that would be overkill, but it'd be pretty cool. So yeah. Ooh. Um we're also gonna end up we're gonna get a uh, overfill of this, I've just realized. So we might have to fix that in the future. Or else we'll just have uh, block stopped. Uh but for now it's fine. Thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy um, I already said that part, so I guess I'll just hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.